Hi, I'm Vita. Welcome to another episode of Inside Lighthouse. I'm here with Tim Vanderet. And uh, Tim, what do you do? Uh, I'm a mechanical design engineer at Lighthouse. Uh, so that means I work on all the tangible components that mm -hmm. come together to make the product. Uh, plastic parts, metal parts, uh, I figure out how we're going to make them, how we fit them together, uh, where the various parts go. Okay. So um, what are we looking at here? So this is the evolution uh, of Lighthouse. Um, really? Yeah, right. So we have this ridiculous looking uh, 1970s PCB painters taped to a tea box. Uh, this is actually a very important piece uh, for us. So this was our proof of concept uh, very early on investigating the technology we were going to use. Is it going to work? How are we going to use it? Um, and we actually used this uh, monstrosity to gather a lot of really important uh, data that our computer vision guys used um, to kind of set the framework for our early algorithms. Okay, so um, how did you go from here to here? So that's actually uh, a really big step. Uh, I mean, it looks like a big step, but it, it was an insane amount of work. Um, so essentially, uh, when choosing a form factor, there's a ton of constraints that, that are involved. Um, for us, our, the technology we're using generates a lot of heat. Uh, so it was very important for us to understand how much heat those sensors are generating uh, and how we're going to dissipate that mm -hmm. through the product. Um, so we had a team of engineers at, at Playground Global that worked really hard on that. Uh, and uh, what is Playground Global? So Playground's a hardware uh, incubator, accelerator, that Lighthouse is a part of. Uh, and essentially they provide engineering resources, uh, space, uh, labs, electrical lab, reliability lab, um, that allow us to, to grow as a company and build our product, essentially. Um, so. The, the engineers working on this uh, spent a ton of time uh, doing thermal analysis mm -hmm. and understanding how that heat was gonna dissipate and then working very close with the industrial designers uh, to realize their kind of vision for the shape and size and what it should look like. Uh, so they worked very closely together uh, and through a lot of iterative work, you know, arrived at this form factor. And um, how'd you get from this 3D printed version to this? So this is actually also a 3D printed version. Um, my great painting skills might have thrown you off. Uh, so this I made actually on my first week at Lighthouse. Uh, the CEO sent me a message and asked for uh, a model that looks like the real thing. Um, so not knowing uh, who he was or uh, <laughs> you know my role in the company yet, uh, when the CEO asks you to do something like that, you immediately uh, make a full paint uh, shop in your garage. Uh, so that's what I did. Um, so this model uh, essentially has all of the internal technology that we use, um, but the parts on the outside are, are just 3D printed. So uh, this looks like the final product. Uh, yeah, so it looks like the final product. Um, so we actually spend a lot of time in this phase. Doing uh, what? Uh, lots and lots of testing. Uh, so this particular unit was actually built months ago. Um, so we spend uh, lots of iterations uh, testing everything you can imagine. So for myself, uh, being a mechanical engineer, uh, we do a lot of reliability testing. So what we saw earlier in the lab was a drop test, uh, which as you can imagine, replicates a user dropping the device. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to make sure that anything a customer, customer might do to the product, uh, we're going to survive and survive well. So that means spraying cleaning products, um, sunlight through the window, uh, you know, rubbing your socks on carpet and, and hitting it with a bunch of static electricity, uh, very hot weather, very humid weather. I mean, anything you can imagine a customer might do, we test for. Which part of the process do you enjoy most? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, this job, like any other job, has a bunch of really annoying, tedious stuff. Uh, but the parts that I love definitely make up for that. Um, so I'm really engaged in the early phases where we're figuring out what the product's gonna look like, how we're gonna make it, uh, making the concept come to life. Um, but by far my favorite part is getting the product out to customers. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm engaged by is knowing that there are people that are gonna buy this and use this. Uh, and what drives me is making sure that that's a delightful experience. Tim, thank you so much for telling us about the process. And we are so excited to get these into your homes. In the meantime, if there's anything you'd like us to cover in the next video, let us know in the comments and be sure to follow us. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If there's anything you want to know, let us know in the comments. 
Hit us up on the DMs. Yeah, you say that. <laughs> Yeah. That was awkward, wasn't it? It was awkward. <laughs> We'd start over. We'd start over. <laughs>